नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू आर सी आई चैनल आर के नवशिखर चैनल में हमारे सभी दर्शकों का स्वागत है आज के हमारे प्रोग्राम का टॉपिक है चेंजिंग ट्रेंड्स इन हैबिलिटेटिंग रिहैबिलिटेशन ऑफ पर्सन विद मेंटल रिटारेशन एंड टूडे वी हैव विद अस मिसेस शांति माथुर क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजिस्ट एंड कंसल्टेंट टू वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड मिसेज हेमा गौरी स्पेशल एजुकेटर Welcome to ICN of Shikhar Channel, ma'am. Thanks. Progressing further, I would like to inform my viewers that they can call us for their any queries. Our toll-free number is one eight double zero double one two double zero eight. Our studio number is two six five double one six one three, and our fax number is two six five double one six zero nine. We have been studying. or we have been reading about various dimensions various aspects or various domains of rehabilitation but for you as professionals it's very necessary to keep ourselves up to date because you as professionals will be in direct contact with the parents with the cbi programs and many other programs to various institutions where it is necessary for you to disseminate the information and for that it's very necessary to identify to understand the current changing trends in the rehabilitation to chaliye aaj ke topic ke sath hum shuru karte hain main ma'am se puchna chahungi ki jo aaj ka hamara topic hai the current changing trends in habilitating rehabilitations to habilitation aur rehabilitation mein kya difference hai pehle aap ye bataiye actually it's a real good question ma'am normally certain people always have a confusion habilitation rehabilitation both the same actually it is not the same it is a difference uh, not only the word the meaning behind what is meant by habilitation differs from rehabilitation okay, okay. let us move to the slide first we yeah, go sure. for the definition habilitation habilitation is a process through which persons born with a certain impairment <coughs> are helped to channelize their residual capacities to their maximum development so that he or she could lives as normal life as possible let me briefly explain about habilitation habilitation converse the person is having the impairment by birth okay not after birth it is a congenital issue by birth it could be it may started around the third month in the umbilical whatever it is okay it is a by birth process so that person whatever the residual capacity he is having to strengthen it is habilitation because okay. if you take Uh, our topic is on mental retardation right. so certain factors like the congenital problem the child may have problem may be born with like if you take given down syndrome it is a genetical problem right it is by birth is already decided so for that child if we are giving program mean professionally it is habilitation right because the congenital problem is already confirmed it's a genetical issue right okay that means the residual talent whatever it is how to train that refers to habilitation and we we think that rehabilitation rehabilitation is one and the same right. thing that's what now we go for the definition for rehabilitation let us move to the slide okay rehabilitation it is defined as a process of restoring the handicap individual to the fullest physical mental emotional social and vocational usefulness for which he is capable hence it includes process procedures and programs which are designed to enable the affected individual to function at a more adequate and personally satisfying level actually rehabilitation in the sense he is so called normal then certain problem arises he becomes impairment or disability it starts okay that means if you take even because uh, the causes of mental retardation is not only congenital prenatal postnatal also okay. there certain children say for example up to age 4 they will be so called a normal then they may have some brain fever like meningitis automatically the child become certain children not all people we can't exactly. tell it is confirmingly become men mental retardation or even seizure disorder if you take some people so rehabilitation in the sense who are lost their function that is normal right it is lost due to certain factor and how to restore their capabilities whatever they are lost according to their level best okay. it is not they can't restore fully 
to their level best how come they can restore it say for example i can give an example one of the child in our school up to age 4 she is normal she had only fever severe fever okay then she become uh, mild i mean cp that uh, paraplegic that so with mr or maybe that fever that means now our rehabilitation program she can't go back to the previous restoring not the full capabilities what are the pending is there strengthen it according to the environment okay. so if you take uh, rehabilitation it tells it is restoring it is a process procedures and program together actually let me clarify with the different session between habilitation rehabilitation and again let me explain okay. let us move to the slide difference between rehabilitation and habilitation in rehabilitation to help a person with loss to function habilitation to help a person born with disability or impairment rehabilitation number 2 it connotes restoring abilities habilitation it's it refers to the development abilities that never existed or delayed rehabilitation point number 3 it can be long term or short term program in habilitation it is long term process number 4 in rehabilitation person with handicapping conditions need to develop fundamental capabilities in habilitation need to develop basic skills of day to day life through structured skill training program point number 5 deals with the enhancement of own environment in habilitation deals with the training and treatment point number 6 in rehabilitation it is a broad concept which includes habilitation also habilitation is a specific concept overall if you take rehabilitation conveys the person has lost his ability okay due to that the, he or she may become a child with mr or a person with mr because if you take mental retardation means age boundary is there up to age 18 if the same problem occurs with any brain accident or whatever accident we may label it as organic bra- brain disorder there are so many labeling is there so main if you label a person with mr in the sense first to focus is on the iq it should be less than 70 point number 1 point number 2 is the adaptive behavior deficiency will be there okay and the third main factor of i mean identifying a child with mr is it should occur from conception till age 18 okay if you are telling like that that means in rehabilitation habilitation means it includes both for a child with mr we can't tell only habilitation because after birth postnatal also postnatal also the problem occurs that means the causative factors for mental retardation may be prenatal or postnatal if it is the prenatal or congenital problem habilitation we can label professionally if it occurs after birth means it is rehabilitation but if you generally normally because in the different session itself we are seeing rehabilitation includes habilitation too that means habilitation is part of rehabilitation right only difference habilitation means by birth the child is having an impairment so what are the residual thing strengthen it and it is a long term process but if you take rehabilitation it may be long term or short term but if it is the condition of mental retardation comes definitely it won't be short term because other disease is differs because rehabilitation is the general word it doesn't only refer to only in the mental retardation field like that it covers other disability area also okay ma'am jaise early intervention ki agar hum baat kare to it comes under habilitation or rehabilitation ma'am it doesn't okay. mean habilitation or rehabilitation whether the child face this problem say for example if he is a child with a down syndrome then it is habilitation but again rehabilitation includes habilitation as a part of it okay maybe rehabilitation the, yes maybe the rehabilitation would come when the child is born normal mean time met with an accident or something like that and lots is uh, functioning level of intelligence then you are rehabilitating that child okay means like if you are talking of the habilitation yeah. then uh, it's a long term process yes. but at some point us <coughs> jo habilitate ho raha hai usko bhi to hame rehabilitate karna padega yeah, that is what i am telling do. rehabilitation includes habilitation also right mm. it covers 
habilitation is part of rehabilitation rehabilitation doesn't convince the person who has lost his ability only is applicable to rehabilitation no no it covers habilitation also by birth okay. whatever he lost or after whatever they are taking in rehabilitation habilitation refers only by birth if the child is have problem what the program how it has to go okay and like you said in rehabilitation there is in, there are procedures programs Thanks. these are there but what comes under habilitation like we are following procedures and programs under the rehabilitation because i think even habilitation has to have a program for what the child is lacking in it what is the deficiency of the child if okay. you want to uh, rehabilitate the child you must know the strength and the deficiency of the child right. to strengthen the positive uh, potentiality in the child and increase that by programming and by preparing the child for that okay. like actually if you take the terminology itself it is habilitation it is re mm -hmm. rehabilitation yeah. okay okay the what are the residual there try to strengthen it mm -hmm. that's all what is rehabilitation in the sense restore mm -hmm. the capacity bring it back whatever is we can okay. so principal procedure definitely in the sense that is main focus is rehabilitation okay let me take the same example the child faced a fever at the age 4 then this problem started okay rehabilitation means what is the procedure how to strengthen the child to come back to the fundamental issue whatever she has lost because if you take rehabilitation they have to understand the fundamental thing that knowledge in the sense now because the age of the child is 4 if it is more than that the child can understand okay i faced because of the fever or this this occurred to me i have to agree this problem then how to manage myself that understanding comes with the rehabilitation process but habilitation if you take because is a by birth what how you can convey to a child with a down syndrome that it is a genetical issue because of genetical issue you are facing this problem right that knowledge definitely we are in need of maximum overall rehabilitation is the main habilitation is a part of rehabilitation right and like if we see habilitation rehabilitation are two separate things then which is the easier process the habilitation or the rehabilitation 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 is much easier because the person concerned had these habits with him earlier he lost it due to some unfortunate uh, event so you are restoring those uh, i mean qualities or capabilities for him back okay am um, it is the word again we should not confuse because which is best in the sense even if i may at a rehabilitation but habilitation is part of rehabilitation mm -hmm. that right. means what is best both are best Right. depending upon the child yeah, condition the because we can't uh, differentiate it right only meaning is what is meant by habilitation means by birth the child is having problem that's all rehabilitation means a person even by birth or even without this also include all the thing together the program okay तो अब तक जैसे हमने देखा है हैबिलिटेशन के बारे में रिहैबिलिटेशन के बारे में इनकी डिफरेंसेस तो क्या हमें बताना चाहेंगे कि व्हाट इज शिफ्ट क्या था मतलब पहले के ट्रेंड में और अब के ट्रेंड में व्हाट वाज द शिफ्ट ओके मैम आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू फर्स्ट तो आई विल ब्रीफली एक्सप्लेन ओवरऑल व्यूज बिकॉज़ इफ यू टेक रिहैबिलिटेशन इट कवर्स फ्रॉम एजुकेशनल प्रिवेंशन एकेडमिक वोकेशनल को करिकुलर द मेजर इवन what are the definition terminology changed even iq changes if you take there is a wider areas first let me briefly explain what are the uh, uh, traditional trend and current trend it is conveyed by dr govindrao nmh uh, the director at present this very good in explaining in 2002 let me let us move to the screen yeah typology of paradigm shift dr govindrao 2002 area philosophy traditional approach charity model medical goal transaction that is pain relief or providing assistive devices responsibility of the environment and society not owned values maintenance of disabled is adequate attitude burden on the society or not employable people's working in ngos voluntary minded process involved adoptionism If you take contemporary approach, philosophy refers rights, model refers socio-medical and holistic model. Goal is transformation on life cycle basis. Responsibility of environment and society is 
owned as the handicap situation is felt as the creation of environment and society values refers empowering is the ultimate goal of disability rehabilitation attitude moves part of the society and employable people working in ngos in contemporary approach is career minded process involved is professionalism i'm actually in its overall covering your topic on mental retardation okay earlier the view is it is just a charity and their burden of the society because they were felt like mad people they never referred what is this this and all even uh, i think from 1959 61 the terminology has a only one notion they are mad that's all because intelligence when it arises then only differentiation of the criteria has started Thank when you. the world intelligence is not in the professional means we can't tell what is the reason behind it generally they are labeled as mad people idiots even classification also we labeled idiots morons and imbeciles exactly okay apart from it the who are doing the apart from government government felt them as burden and i mean society felt them as a burden just to maintain them how they are just it's only medical take care of them how whatever it is just let them they are not eligible for any job that was the traditional view but at present current view has changed in such a good way that we can tell no it is professional it is not charity it is professional there are lot of things they can also do they are employable and it's not it's a right of the society because it is handicap for the person due to the societal restriction say for example if a child is with mr earlier there was no special school in the sense the child won't get any input then how come the child will learn to do certain work or whatever it is because they need a different type of dealings teaching whatever it is that time is they didn't learn anything how to do vocational but now the academics everything has come because society has agreed it is their rights now right. we have to rehabilitate rehabilitate mean in the sense what restore what are the lost ability what are the lost means okay then what is the procedure what is the process for it what right. is the program that has already started due to change in the definition also one of the factor among it right that i think mother mom will explain how come the changes helped us to move towards the thing and how the education system also improved and training children with mr because earlier mentally retarded child means he is like a mad person just leave them at home depending upon their financial of the parents or depending upon the country or well developed whatever it is accordingly they will be kept that's all just to only it is fully focused on medical improvement Right. what we can tell it's like a disease even it has felt like a disease not only that the, the responsibility of the government or the country at this was missing at that time they never held some they are responsible for yeah, such children right, also that's why that's what we conveyed in it is that right was not uh, given to them or they never recognized that the society means uh, i think i'll move for a sample of the society response move to the slide responsibility of society traditional approach not owned by society at large survival for the fittest weak and disabled not allowed to live as they were through to be hampering with the production process as seen in the world was contemporary approach collective responsibility owned by the society handicapping condition is seen as creation of society hence society works to remove handicapping conditions mm-hmm. affirmative actions arise as a result of such owning of responsibility example legislation pd act reservations barrier free environment etc actually the traditional approach just they think they are burden of the society they are not applicable the child with mr in the sense they are not suitable for none of the thing they can't understand okay right. that's all and the role of the society is not that it's not our responsibility it's the actually the terminology handicap refers the societal restriction it is not the right. disability of the person the term handicap in the sense that is the societal restrictions the inability of the society say for example a person with okay in the wheelchair now the railings this the things are coming out it if it is not available in the society means the person can't reach that place right 
the same thing a person with the mental retardation means that he is not getting any training they are getting training because of the special olympic there are lot of things even dance program everything they are excelling very well okay even if you take about the ngos role of ngos let us move to the slide yes yeah, sir sure. people in ngos traditional approach charity oriented voluntary ad hoc nature no scientific temperament often unethical contemporary approach career minded different courses in disability rehabilitation example physiotherapist psychologist special educators social workers speech therapist scientific and professional temperament ethical treatment actually if you take government non government both we are in need because in the field of special education with child with mental retardation earlier period most of the work has started by the ngos right okay apart from it without government collaboration it is very difficult to do a work for the ngos because we need the other constitution they exactly. can't make support from okay them. but normally earlier it was just it was unethical okay what is rules regulation there is nothing do as we wish but the procedure and different different courses because how to train the person with them or how to teach them how to make them to understand because if you take mental retardation again four category comes like mild moderate severe profound again according to the iq right even in special olympics for uh, people who are can excel like say for example mildly retarded children there is different activities are going but definitely for profoundly retarded children matp that is motor training activity training program is there they are literally telling even for profoundly retarded children we are having planning program that much it's moving that mean contemporary approach has moved that even a profoundly retarded child there are motor activity training program they can do that means main thing rehabilitation now has moved from a place earlier they were considered as idiots they can't do anything the labeling itself idiots but ma'am don't you think still there is like lacuna is there because i have read a topic in india today and it was like there is a mentally challenged girl and she was uh, there was a question whether they should be allowed to have babies or not like these are more in terms of emotional aspects if we talk about so still the constitution is lacking somewhere because nobody was able to decide in nay hey, no no actually legally they are having permission even to vote please think about it they are having voter list uh, freedom also even marriage also only thing they have we government has already given it the all the trainees also in dscmr bed course we are giving the input to the trainees but only the one thing they have to talk to the person whom with whom they are going to and the bachche ke the marriage it's going to take place okay first he could be a normal person also or he may be the same person with mr or he may be a person with visual impairment or whatever it is first have a meeting between the family both explain to them the condition because i can tell a child with mildly retarded who is coming to school in 19 i think around 96 she is not even mild in the sense around 60 not even more than 60 literally she refused to come to school i asked her tell me my child what is the problem she is telling this is school is for mad people <laughs> because i am telling literally now also from 1992 the word aa mr has changed as aa iid the terminology of mental retardation right. word has removed and intellectual defi- uh, disability. Dis- disability has come but you say till people are sticking to the traditional Same word tradition. till now Tell because not. i can tell for a parent who is listening the word mental in the sense it is a confusion mental doesn't refers only to intelligence and adaptive behavior right. the word mental is a wider terminology right. and it includes even emotional aspect even so lot of aspect it covers mostly they mistake it for mental illness right if you say the word mental mental oh ye to pagal hai exactly but without uh, any differentiation they say mental means I am concerned exactly. about the parent issue. Even when I was a training, okay, in our college ground, my name is my teacher is going. I was a training mm-hmm. doing B. Ed. in special education. Our labeling is mad. They want even in the college ground itself, other max who are doing max or science, they feel I am doing science, uh, math, physics, uh, B. Ed. Whatever they are labeling. But by looking at it, oh, she is mad. Her teacher. 
labeling itself even i am telling even that time also i used to wonder why they are not appreciating me and instead of it they are reverting and telling you are mad still the, the acceptance is not there not there no, the terminology confuses no mental in the sense even for a parent to tolerate mental in the sense my child is not having mind mind first definition exactly. even in psychology also the definition keep on changed ma'am even in psychology yeah. earlier it was uh, mind only then move to behavior, behavior. that is science of behavior the okay. same thing only in our disability because if you take autism spectrum disorder it was early schizophrenia now it has become pervasive developmental disorder but if you take mental retardation it's a confusing word because mental in the sense what exactly even the school is called paichi kavana mad school, school. <laughs> mad school no, till now they exist but yeah, it's now because they it's not they are purposefully doing honestly speaking because the terminology, terminology confuses yes, mental in the sense they are mad fit for nothing and it's more a stigma like to the family yeah more if we like speak the mental retardation it's more apt if we say the intellectual disability no, apart from the family they don't accept it as intellectual they they, exactly. they think that the child is not able to behave like a normal person right. so it's a mental mad kid right. and many of the i mean uh, social stigmas were barring the parents from taking their children away in society many of children i have seen in my own school they have used to lock the child and go till they come back and he was okay. left with a dog at home and he after some time he started behave like a dog because this companion no was only dog yeah, because mental retardation means that the child the certain children may have physical feature difference otherwise right. they look like look so called right. normal exactly. only and even i am telling whenever we are dealing with a child with mild mental retardation more than 60 even in the school setup we are facing problem they themselves make ridiculous enough other group yeah, yeah. right first our problem and they are telling i don't have any problem i don't want to come to this school these people are mad first i am telling yes you are training them because i have to manage this child in our setup that was the one right. objection to the inclusive education in india because the normal uh, uh, parents of the normal children said we don't want to send our children to this school because there are exactly. other mad uh, kids are there and my children will learn their habits they will become it's like a infectious like disease an infectious no, it is thing. a infectious disease that impression till people till, are having uh, till. that's exactly. why it's it's not very successful i would say in india the inclusive education or the integrated Ma education Ma'am, even yeah. in family wise it has occurred one of the two brothers one child is normal the elder one is having a child with mental retardation when the second child get married her wife conveyed i don't stay in this house and I, she never allows her child to play with this, uh, that one because it is infectious it may trust me yeah. some people still having yeah. the medical notion that mental retardation is infectious till awareness nowadays even if you take or say the nausika channel is also there the awareness program is keep on improving okay so we will surely carry on with the discussion with rehabilitation and rehabilitation after a short break see you after a while <laughs> ऑटिज्म एक व्यापक विकासात्मक विकलांगता है जिसके लक्षण जीवन के प्रथम तीन वर्ष में ही दिखाई पड़ते हैं जैसे असंगत खेल असमान स्थूल एवं सूक्ष्म गामक क्रियाएं शाब्दिक संकेतों पर अभिव्यक्ति न देना देखो ओपन ओपन करो ओपन 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 करके नियमित कार्यक्रम परिवर्तन का विरोध करना एवं अवलोकनीय शारीरिक उच्च स्तरीय या निम्न स्तरीय क्रियाकलाप यू एन सी आर पी डी टू थाउजेंड सेवन सेक्शन वन ऑफ आर्टिकल फोर निशक्तता के क्षेत्र में कार्यरत प्रोफेशनल के प्रशिक्षण पर महत्व देता है ऑटिज्म के क्षेत्र में सरकारी एवं गैर सरकारी संस्थाएं कार्यरत हैं जो भारतीय पुनर्वास परिषद द्वारा पंजीकृत हैं Society for Advanced Study in Rehabilitation एक ऐसी ही गैर सरकारी संस्था है कनिष्क तेरह साल का एक ऑटिस्टिक बच्चा है जो इसी संस्था से प्रशिक्षण प्राप्त कर रहा है असंगत क्रियाएं 
कार्यकलापों में निरस्ता असमान स्थूल एवं सूक्ष्म गामक क्रियाएं जैसे बॉडी रॉकिंग और फिंगर रिगलिंग उसमें देखी जा सकती है उसे मैचिंग और पेस्टिंग पॉइंटिंग जैसी क्रियाएं सिखाई जाती हैं। वेरी गुड ग्लास 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 वेरी कब को टच करो जल्दी से सबको वेरी गुड कब में क्या करता है कनीस टी पीता है चलो ग्लास वेर इज द ग्लास तथा साथ ही साथ रोजमर्रा की आवश्यकताएं जैसे खाना पीना कपड़े पहनना और व्यायाम संबंधी प्रशिक्षण दिया जाता है ऑटिस्टिक बच्चों को भिन्न भिन्न प्रकार की कार्यविधियां उनके स्तर के अनुसार सिखाई जाती हैं, जैसे कुछ बच्चों के लिए कलरिंग विद इन वन एरिया मैचिंग एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन फाइन मोटर स्किल्स आई हैंड कोऑर्डिनेशन कंसेप्ट ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स बॉडी पार्ट्स कलर्स पर जोर दिया जाता है तथा कुछ को प्रश्न पढ़ के उत्तर देने में और रोजमर्रा की आवश्यकताओं को पूरा करने में सक्षम बनाया जाता है इसके अलावा राइम्स डांसिंग सिंगिंग द्वारा लेजर एंड रिक्रिएशनल एक्टिविटीज में भाग लेने के लिए प्रोत्साहित किया जाता है इन सभी कार्यकलापों एवं प्रशिक्षण का एकमात्र उद्देश्य उन्हें स्वनिर्भर बनाना है ताकि ये डगमगाते पाओ सक्षम बन जीवन के एक एक पायदान पर दृढ़ता से आगे बढ़े और अपनी मंजिल को पाले एक तारा टिमटिमाता उसने आकाश को छू लिया एक लौ जली कहीं उसने अंधकार को मिटा दी वेलकम बैक ब्रेक पे जाने से पहले वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज हैबिलिटेशन what is rehabilitation and the possible differences between these two then we also discussed about the traditional approach and the contemporary approach now we are going to discuss about the change about as we have discussed the traditional approach and the contemporary approach in the shift now we are going to discuss the definitions on the intellectual disability how they have been changing from the time being so let's ask ma'am like what you are going to discuss what you are going to discuss now on the like definitions of intellectual on the definitions what are the changes which has occurred since so many years how this uh, I mean, retardation has been coined later on in life how what are the terminology used earlier for this and how we have arrived <coughs> at a present terminology of mental retardation and much later of course is intellectual disorder disability which is not very commonly used still among professionals that's what i would say so it will take some time maybe to change the mental retardation into intellectual disability, disability disorder we'll have to wait till that time right. now i'm going to read the changes which has occurred in the concept of mental retardation please look at the screen definitions of intellectual disability within bracket mental retardation number 1 idiots is one who had no understanding from his nativity from the year 1252 to 1290 90. ad mm -hmm. number 2 idiots 
a person not understanding or reason of what shall be his profit or loss from the year 1500 and 1520 number 3 idiocy produced by deficiency or inefficiency of nerves to transmit the message to the brains seeking in 1907 number 4 mental deficiency a state of incomplete mental development an individual is incapable of adapting <coughs> to his environment. Tread goal in 1937. 5. Mental retardation. Heber in 1961. Sub average general intellectual functioning during developmental period and associated with impairment in adaptive behavior age up to 16 years. Number 6. Mental retardation. Grassman in the year 1973 and 83. Significantly sub-average general intellectual exist functioning existing concurrently with deficit in adaptive behavior manifested during developmental period, age 18 years in 1973 and from conception till 83 in 1983 definition. Number 7, Mental Retardation by Lacassan et al. 1992. Significantly sub-average intellectual functioning existing concurrently with related limitation in two or more following adaptive areas, communication, self-care, home living, social skill, self-direction, health and safety, functional, academics, leisure and work, age up to 18. Lacassan et al. again in 2002. Mental retardation is a disability characterized by significant limitations both in intellectual functioning and in adaptive behavior as expressed in conceptual, social and practical adaptive skills. This disability originates before age 18 years. So like we have seen the shift from see. more of a personal aspect to a scientific aspect to a more holistic aspect. Yeah. If we see, if we compare. So would you like to add in something? No, this was said that the, how the shift has taken place. The earlier days, they never thought there's something like intellectual capacity, you see. Right. They always call them as idiot with no brains. That was the um, implication of that uh, word idiot. But later on, I an mean, idiot who doesn't understand anything, who doesn't uh, understand the profits and laws of anything. But later on, and, and Seguin actually in 1907, uh, I mean, um, I mean, produced by deficiency, efficiency of nervous to transmit the message of the brain. Uh, actually, he had uh, um, ventured, okay. ventured to find out why some children in the school are not functioning like any other child, normal child. Because at that time, they were not aware of that uh, concept of deficiency or uh, intellectual disability. So they said there is a difference between certain children. That's how we invented Seguin Form Board, which Till is now they are using one of the data. best uh, uh, screening test for us. Ma'am, so that's how even if you label Seguin means automatically yeah. throat worldwide, we call him as a father of specialization. Yeah, exactly. His contribution is that much, but he also labeled only mental deficiency, not retardation. Mm, retardation. He, never, he never used the word retardation. Mental intelligence is not available. Mm. The scoring of IQ word is not came out. Exactly. He, he only the wanted to know how different the children are. They are not why are they, why are they uh, different from each other? That what is concept. That's why he invented the test to screen out those children who don't perform. So later on the other I mean uh, additional uh, um, I mean uh, facts were added to his screening like they are deficient in so, so, so such and such area, such and such area, such and such area. That differentiation came much better. Then in uh, 1937, Treadgold again used the word deficiency. So no, the, no, nobody before him has ever used the word deficiency. That means there is a deficiency in the mental functioning of the child. That's yeah. what he meant. So he coined the word uh, deficiency and then came retardation. They thought deficiency is not a proper word to explain because the functional level of the child, they can perform certain things 
they cannot perform certain deficiency means we are completely de I mean deficient of that particular exactly. skill right. or so they didn't want to do it as deficiency they coined the word called retardation, retardation. that means in certain areas certain skills they are retarded but maybe in other skills they can be yes, trained much actually is the there is one word uh, there is there idiot seven mm. see that exactly. uh, that existed yes. earlier even a child with m or certain children not all but if you think about autism spectrum children they are also doing like that but it is only given in the field of mental deficiency earlier they are idiot savants also certain yeah. children are idiot savants now the word idiot has gone only seven c word is used there, but the seventh word is used for they excel in certain area very well they even in child with mr also they may be an uh, illiterate they may not uh, uh, know how to read and write but some are very good in uh, Music, seeing the calendar calendar memory exactly calendar memory. what is the date of uh, this year this year you see ask he will say so that is uh, an area which is exceptionally developed for them but the rest of the area of the brain is not well developed right so they were initially called that idiot savants but now they have taken the word idiot away from that and savant is the only word used and so he he were in 1959 61 I mean, defined intelligence as sub-average gen general intellectual, intellectual functioning. functioning. So he was a man actually to see the actual meaning of deficiency or uh, retardation there. So he coined the word intellectual functioning during developmental age. So that should occur during the development age, and he put the development uh, age as 16. Okay. But later on, Grossman in 1973 and 83 used the same. a definition uh, like heber sub average intellectual functioning within the period of developmental age but the age he raised to 18, 18. instead of 16 i mean even in the 18 also even in the same grossman definition in 1973 it is just up to age 18 but in 83 from conception till 18, 18. earlier it was not conception yeah. stage then from 1983 it has changed from conception till this one that much because the identification is the major process because if you come for the rehabilitation the process program means when the prevention has to start prevention is it primary or secondary factor exactly. if the genetical yes. issue means then we have to convert to the family for the next child whatever it is so for that purpose if the definition has included from conception that helps us a lot in rehabilitation work exactly so the lucasen in the 1992 again used the same kind of uh, definition sub average intellectual functioning with limitations in two or more adaptive behavior even the el uh, earlier persons had used as behavior I mean, concurrently the adaptive behavior but they didn't specify actually what exactly I is the i mean uh, behavior laws in the adaptive behavior okay. so but uh, lucasen has done it with the uh, i mean adaptive behavior areas like communication self care they were not uh, social skills self direction all these things they were lacking from a normal person of their age that is very important you will have to compare the child with its own age of normal group of people so when con compared he thought these people are lacking in these areas so that has to be also addressed too so they started including the definition of adaptive behavior into the intellectual functioning also so where are the areas of adaptive behavior loss or deficiency that also has to be tested and that i mean uh, to, label. to be labeled actually ma'am here they the have labeled like intermittent um, not like uh, um, mild moderate and uh, severe and proper they called it as a, i mean a intermittent exhaustive and pervasive and things like that so they changed the uh, what should i say the terminology of describing their adaptive behavior loss um actually whatever she can make you know from a psychologist point of view it's comfortable but as when we are special educator if the terminology by looking at that we get confused because okay a child with mr means okay iq agreeable now when the terminology adaptive behavior comes earlier it's a general terminology when grassman yeah. said okay it is adaptive behavior we included anything on our own now when they are specifying certain area particularly then adaptive behavior assessment scale should be a norm reference test 
our problem. Then again, we think about the second time in 2002, he defined again Lucas and the group. They have clarified that uh, 10 area of adaptive into three headings. Mm. Practical, conceptual, and social. social skills. Again, we held, again we get a good in knowledge from the psychologist that they said it is parallel with well and maturity scale. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think ma'am will explain well and maturity scale. But um, yeah. don't you think like these definitions is a more for labeling? Like, jitna bhi uh, definitions humne dekha, they are more for labeling. Ma'am, no ma'am. Actually, for labeling even I am telling AAM are already conveyed from 19. I mean 92. 92. Okay. When Lacas and definition has started, they have changed the name itself as AAIDD. It is not labeled as AAMR. Mm. American Association of Mental Retardation word has been changed as AAIDD. Okay. And from that time itself, the labeling, level of the severity, mild to moderate IQ based on IQ has been removed and based on the adaptive behavior, the labeling has started as intermittent. Mm. It refers, they can need little bit guidance, they can manage. Then intermittent, limited, limited. they need for little of bit. Time. Then extensive and pervasive, mm. it is only based on adaptive behavior, not on IQ. Because we know basically it is also traditional and uh, contemporary change. We always have a confusion, what is meant by mild IQ, IQ 45 or what is the use of it? Exactly. How come the child? Because mm. um, in the contemporary approach, it is mild to moderate severe. But we are using only educational, this thing, educable, trainable. We are not using mild to moderate. Exactly. Because professionally, our usage is, is it educable child, trainable. It clearly conveys, educable means he can cope up to do independently. Little bit guidance he needs. He needs. But uh, trainable in the sense, he need continuous supervision. The terminology gives a good meaning. But mild to moderate, if based on IQ means. Huh, that, of course, you as a special educator use uh, the terminology of educational level. You see, that helps that, us, uh, for your profession. But as clinical psychologists, we would like to still use mild, moderate uh, and severe preferred because it gives us a meaning of where exactly the child is deficient, where exactly we should intervene. But like for the parents, it's more like it, well, when for parents doesn't mean anything. Yeah, they it doesn't just mean want anything the benefits for that. No, no. for no, them it's it not is benefit. everything. I it's not benefiting. Think. But we we'll have to uh, label them to place them anywhere. For educational sake, they have to place them in certain classes or certain uh, kind of training they have to give. And we have to uh, label them to how much we can sort of plan for them in a psychological way. You see how much potency we can put into the child right. psychologically or intellectually how much can we put into them so that point of view is ours so according to that we had decided i mean divided the retardation into I categories so. or uh, uh, profound severe actually, moderate and mild and below 70 of course we don't consider the i mean above 70 we don't consider them as retarded at all mental retardation so we just call them as borderliners or uh, slow learners so that we can coin them or make our program of training <coughs> meaningful when we have <coughs> the labels done. Excuse That's me. the reason. If you go for the constitutional thing, if we label early based on the psychology testing mild, moderate, severe, but the constitutional is at present it's a zero rejection. That is why inclusion has started means they have equal rights. First thing, whatever it is, let it be profound, so what? They have equal rights for the protection and their opportunities to as a part of the community. The community is improving because if you go for the constitutional provisions, because labeling is a thing at present, there is a lot of controversial issues still continuing as uh, AAID has changed the name to agree the intellectual disability word like from idiots to mental deficiency, it has taken time. To, for the first same word, time, same everything, time it will take. because the major problem in the society because the terminology confuses people. That is why the Constitution, PWD Act, whatever it came, they imply equal opportunity for the person because zero rejection in the sense all school, normal school, they need placement. Earlier when in the I mean national policy of education, it is only for mildly retarded children are given program. That time PWD Act has not come into program, okay? Before that also India started that work. But from PWD Act, 
afterwards when survey shiksha abhiyan that is based on universalization of elementary education okay based on it there is no constriction that only mildly retarded children will be allowed even they are profoundly they have the equal right to go for but now like if but we talk in the sense of for like educable or trainable ki hum baat kare to it will create more of a happier that thing like whoever is educable and whoever is educable like in the sense they can learn certain sight words and limited thing according to the need base okay rest of the things we have to think the child can because if you take educable word means when the vocational options comes it is like a sheltered workshop or independent work self employment that means the terminology educable helps us to understand the child can do self employment independently even in education they should stress upon the non formal education there is no use exactly. of giving a formal education to even an educable uh, retarded child but because it has no i mean benefit to the child so the ex- i mean the emphasis should be on non formal education with occasional training ma'am ye jo hum adaptive behavior ki baat kar rahe hain hmm. it's more in the sense of a formal behavior can it's a, it's, it's, it's a formal it is a formal social behavior you could say okay. how the child can adapt to the demands of the society exactly or how i mean what are his social skills where he can be successful as a because social skills are also important with <coughs> intellectual skills because you have seen now the emotional eq is equally important like iq when you are selecting a person exactly we don't even uh, think of iq we always think of an eq also Man, because EQ he may be a super i am in top of the uh, organization but he is a very short tempered man with no emotional rapport with the other workers exactly. he is a failure nobody i mean they may obey him but not with uh, acceptance you see they will always criticize such uh, top man's behavior so the emotional behavior the social behavior also you should be a social i mean socially i mean um, appropriate to others you see not an antisocial or an withdrawal or an asocial person then you say oh that man even doesn't talk to you what is the use that kind of a comment comes from the workers so it is not only the intellectual co- quotient the emotional quotient as well as the social quotient which are very very important for a successful man in this world right. so the social i come in mean, quotient is taken by the adaptive behavior and we say this man has this skills this man has this skills this man doesn't have these skills so that's how we know the potentialities and the deficiencies in the social skills so that we can train them accordingly right. maybe he is intellectually little more than a uh, social skills so right. uh, try the to the social skills training yes, that way actually how ma'am is conveying when the children is coming to our school the iq may be moderate but the social so quotient is in better than this better. that exactly. we have uh, mm. but but in the definition criteria sq is not there but this time it's a good luck that in the adaptive skills what are the domains they have uh, taken like yeah. as an has taken the 10 area it is exactly the same domain it co- comes in the social well and social maturity, maturity scale also. that is a standardized uh, social maturity scale so it helps us a lot to understand the adaptive behavior of the child because uh, main notion is we have to focus only the adaptive behavior till now the, among the criterion intelligence okay it's the same second thing age okay up to age 18 because if it is up to age 22 means it comes as developmental delay disorder because right. delay may be any reason but iq is normal delay is there then it goes into developmental delay disorder that is some other factor but up to age 18 okay agreeable only question is the adaptive area at present the labeling of the particular adaptive area heading it helps us a law lot to okay this this area they should cope up with the environment if they are not able to cope up that is because that is the labeling intellectual disorder came exactly and mam jaise jo hum scales dekhte hain ndps dekhte hain hum yeah. fscp dekhte hain do you think ki they are more in the terms of they have mentioned gross motor skills fine motor fine skills motor not skills. applicable to every mm-hmm. child like this 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 uh, the points jin pe assessment hone chahiye should be more like no actually fscp i can tell that is a very best scale whatever it is not standardized because it covers for mild child moderate even severe profound even the scale is giving freedom for the special educator they have given only certain 
free color you add any skill according to the level of child there is no limitation but if you take mdps only 20 skills per area exactly. but if you take fscp scale functional assessment scale it has given freedom add anything according to the level of the child and need of the child according to the environment of the child even the teaching itself primary one primary two again vocationally if you excel again put him the other back there is classification is very good in uh, fscp also because main thing when like mental retardation is focusing on adaptive behavior means how to improve that adaptive behavior so that the child can rehabilitate to become part of the society. Right. And that is but the that main idea of the adaptive behavior so that he will be socially, he will be, uh, social skills would be so much that he would adapt himself to the society because adaptation to the society is much more important than even at home for some time, I said. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll surely carry on with our discussion after the short break. See you after a while. The chief handicap of the blindness is not blindness, but the attitude of seeing people towards them. आइए जानने और समझने की कोशिश करते हैं कि बधिरांधता यानी deaf blindness क्या है। बधिरांधता एक स्थिति है जिसमें दृष्टिहीनता एवं सुनने की शक्ति में कमी आती है। तथा जिससे विचारों के आदान प्रदान और रोजमर्रा की आवश्यकताओं की पूर्ति में समस्या उत्पन्न होती है बलराम एक नौ साल का बधिरांत बच्चा है वो एक प्री मैच्योर बच्चा है जिसका शारीरिक विकास उसकी आयु के अनुरूप नहीं हुआ था वो एक निम्न वर्गीय श्रेणी से संबंध रखता है तथा पांच साल से लगातार नेशनल एसोसिएशन फॉर ब्लाइंड दिल्ली के प्रशिक्षण कार्यक्रम से संलग्न है इन पांच सालों के अंतर्गत उसे रोजमर्रा के कामों में हलन चलन में उसकी शैक्षणिक जरूरतों के अनुसार संप्रेषण द्वारा प्रशिक्षण दिया गया है जिससे वो इन सब क्रियाओं में स्वावलंबी बन सके बलराम बिना किसी सहायता के चाकू से फलों को काट सकता है उनके छिलकों को कूड़ेदान में डाल सकता है अपने बर्तनों को खुद साफ कर सकता है उन्हें सही जगह पर रख सकता है सही बर्तनों का चयन करके खुद खाना खाता है एवं पानी की बोतल निकालकर पानी भी पीता है इन सभी क्रियाओं में वो टेक्चुअल साइन लैंग्वेज से निर्देशों को ग्रहण करता है और अपने भावों को व्यक्त करता है टेलर फ्रेम और ब्रेलर द्वारा गणित पठन लेखन में भी प्रशिक्षण प्राप्त कर रहा है सभी बच्चों की तरह उसका भी एक मनपसंद खेल है उसे सेलफोन को अपने कानों पर लगाकर उसका कंपन महसूस करना अच्छा लगता है कहा जाता है 
walking with a friend in dark is better than walking alone in light कहने का तात्पर्य है कि वो लॉन्ग केन ट्रेवल टेक्टाइल पाथ ट्रेलिंग और लैंडमार्क्स द्वारा हलन चलन में भी सक्षम है और व्यायाम संबंधी क्रियाएं जैसे ट्रेडमिल स्टैटिक साइकिल का स्वचालन भी कर सकता है कहा गया है द बेस्ट एंड मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल थिंग्स इन द वर्ल्ड कैन नॉट बी सीन और इवन टच दे मस्ट बी फेल्ट विद द हार्ट Welcome back. Break पे जाने से पहले we have discussed about the habilitation, rehabilitation and the current changing trends up till now. Then we talked about the definitions uh, on intellectual disability, the trends in that also. Now we are going to discuss about the educational trends. How the education has been changed since then. So over to you, ma'am. What are you going to talk about in the educational trends? Actually, the habilitation process in rehabilitating a child. with mental retardation the educational trend has taken a big leap nowadays let us move to the screen and then i'll explain sure process involved traditional approach ad hoc nature no code of ethics enforceable rehabilitation process based on whims and fancies and not on tested and scientific research contemporary approach professionalism rehabilitation process based on tested and scientific research code of ethics governed by professional bodies example rehabilitation council of india medical council of india development of various service delivery models center based intervention home based intervention family cottage services community based rehabilitation actually the traditional approach is just a charitable engage the child okay but as the trend changed nowadays it has become a more scientific way of dealing with the children right. even if you take a child with a mr if we are writing a lesson plan we call as a specific objective specific objective in the sense the terminology tells it is measurable and observable for anybody right it is a scientific proof it is made that much useful that uh, not only that one the teaching method even the courses who are doing even because uh, 1984 nmh started national institute for mentally handicapped before that what are the courses existing to train those teachers who are going to deal with a child with mr it is not recognized and now when national institute nmh started they started the dsmr courses even that time also in 1992 when rc came into act that time only all the special educator wherever they are they have to do the recognized courses even if they do other courses because recognized courses in the sense there should be certain limitation process and procedure right. that is applicable scientific truth will be there and there will be uniformity in the uniformity everywhere uniformity in the so that much in the sense the training of the child who is the giver how they should be that should also the ethical code came into existence so overall if you see i think let us move on the screen what was the condition on pre independence and post independence where the school for a child with ma started it's a just a gist of it okay okay let us move on to the screen educational trends pre independence in 1841 chennai and asylum for idiots in 1918 school opened in bengal 1931 trivandrum 1939 government mental hospital in chennai 1941 first home for children with mr 1944 school in bombay by mrs vakil overall the ngos played a best role in opening special school for children overall even pre independence time itself first time in chennai they started even in the mental hospital itself an asylum for idiots that time the labeling is because it's 18th century 
right the yes. labeling of the word mental retardation please we have to think even in the traditional approach we should not have a notion traditional in the sense nothing fits for it no 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 even with the limitation of not labeling the person like mental retardation but they are segregated they are not mentally ill right how to label is a problem but they are not mentally ill that is why even in the mental hospital in chennai they have opened in 1840 i mean uh, 41. 41 41 it's a big thing because we have to think about even we should not feel that only contemporary approach is very good traditional means all no no there may be limitation depending upon see now the contemporary approach we can give lot of computer program to the child with mr exactly. nms has did a very good excellent job even uh, before 10 years i think even all computer program for academic area it itself convince the child the error comes for the son, everything the modified but that time the science and technology is not available we have to think that's, about it because we should not have a notion traditional means nothing right no, there was no scientific transparent i mean uh, assessment of this children so everybody was called uh, idiots no because so we have to understand we have the scientific technology yes ma'am because some people are telling idiots means they have to first understand the intelligence quotient when it came into existence not before 1950 exactly. that how come they will level the child when the intelligence is not even quotient measurement is not available professionally scientifically it's natural Okay, let us move for post independence. This same move to the slide. And now we are seeing that more of the transdisciplinary and multidisciplinary yes, approaches they are approaches. coming up. They are more coming up and like they are more disciplinary. We always uh, don't prefer lot map. Right. Each person deals separately. Separately. And there right. is no communication between them. Multidisciplinary right. is like a, it's an island approach. But the actually, it should be a team approach. Team approach. Because right. complementary to each other. You right. see, that should be the approach. It is just not only I am assessing an IQ, so I will keep that with me. Right. Well, the other person is uh, having an uh, occupational uh, therapist. Will have. I'll have my assessment. The, but unless and until it is a con, uh, I mean, complementary to each other, the program cannot be successful. Right. It should be a global approach to treat the child or to program a child. so you should have the global approach that would come only when you are having the team approach right. not in isolation right then can you look at the slide educational trends post independence in 1954 mr sinivasan behind the first special class in regular school in mumbai 1965 the federation for the welfare of the mentally retarded fwmr started to mobilize resources to provide various services to person with mr 1984 the government of india started the national institute for the mentally handicapped 1986 the national policy on education npe started first turning point of project integrated education of the disabled person pied pwd act 1995 mentions the importance and process of integrated education a recent initiative of the government of india to universalize elementary education uee is sarva shiksha abhiyan actually if you take the main point is even in 1954 now the integrated education Actually, so we are listening even that time also mr sinivasan has started a special school in a normal school it's not that he is already a separate school as a special school okay even in a normal school setup there is a special school. wing has started but after the nmh has opened now all apart from the ngos all the program has improved even when the pwd act there was an awareness but apart from the pwd act before that in i think uh, 1986 national policy on education did a very good job they asked to integrate the child with a disability that time there is no meaning of pwd act person with a disability act right or even rehabilitation council of india is not that that time it's 1992 it came so okay. they thought these children need even that a time also uh, approach so that's why they said the mile should go into a regular school the constitutional provision they started they opened a uh, hostel and special schools with hostel facilities and things like that which of course is not uh, done See, in good this direction job. but at least a thought was there that they should all go to a special uh, school with facilities of a hostel and things like that
and now in sarva shiksha abhiyan let us move to the screen but mam like if we talk more in the sense of uh, professional training the training courses which are running in different institutions do you think the training standards should be improved like if we are talking of the educational trends like we have talked about from the integrated setup point of view from the inclusive point of view but according to the training like program mm. the special educators the professionals going to be professionals they are taking more of a uh, more of the like gross motor skills fine motor skills they yeah, more of the time and mathematical skills uh, they are not like taking up the social and emotional aspects also no ma'am no actually if you take any assessment scale in our india take mdps basic mr or fscp or the open end and uh, what are the early intervention skills or portage, portage. Mm-hmm. definitely it covers adaptive area grass motor not only fine motor it takes socialization also even community orientation even community, community orientation education. communication receptive communication is not only given in the hand of special educator it covers expressive and receptive area how to train the child according to the developmental norm Okay. So motor, grass motor, fine motor. In the sense, there will be delay in development. Then automatically, even a child with MR, for the child to try in the fine motor to go to the pincer, perhaps it takes time for us. If you avoid the fine motor area, means there won't be the training for the child to improve the thumb opposition. Then tripod grasp, then pincer grasp. It has to come. Even tripod grasp is a very important aspect to write right. to do any vocational activity. Yeah. Definitely, they need tripod grasp. thumb opposition also very important if you take any vocational activity also right these graphs are in need if you won't put under the fine motor activities then the training program won't have that much benefit because right. fine motor always refers um, actually in our country the fine motor area skills is not just to doing any activity all areas say for example to thread a uh, needle with this thing or beading a, it comes in the fine motor it doesn't mean just a time pass for the child it means Man, the future it be in vocational how come the child will be doing any vocational activity no, no, it should be linked with your daily exactly. uh, daily activities right don't teach them like uh, only you have to teach the lift this pencil put it there lift this bag put it there that's right. not the thing which we want connect that activity with your daily living activities so that the child will benefit right just lifting a peg and putting it in the hole is not uh, you know for the child exactly. the same thing should be transferred into your household uh, activity and right. because so the child can benefit by the training hey our country all the existing skills are functional academic skill please functional academic in the sense it is related with the day to day activity it is just not a table top academic syllabus what we are giving to the child what are the activities in the any indianized or whatever the skills we are using it is all based on functional academic functional conveys the meaning it is related with the day to day activity of the child so it will enhance the child to learn because it's only on the table top means it difficult it comes in the day to day say for example it is a simple more or less concept but daily the child is eating drinking exactly. water the more or less even the for the parents they should not sit on the table top If I am teaching a bigger small concept in the school, functional curriculum in the sense we will convey because IEP includes parents also. Right. We will convey if we are having onions, just to keep it there. Tell the child to pick up the big onion. Job is over. Right. It's not just keeping to no no no. Our that, India that. the contemporary approach is very good even in the from the beginning. Not the this thing and the traditional whatever we call. It is very good. It's based on functional academic of the child, learning of the child. That's what the transformation from the actual. Uh, I mean, teaching should go into functional uh, activities. Exactly. So that's what I mean to say. It should not just remain as that. Okay. Then can we have a look at the slide? Yes. Now we will let me move for the vocational because it's a wider area. Traditional changes from contemporary covers educational, vocational, and the co-curricular activity. How the changes has changed to rehabilitate the child to make a equal mental opportunity mental. for the child with mental retard. He is also have rights. Rights right exactly. for work. Okay. Let us move to the slide. Attitude of society, traditional approach, PWDs are burden on the society, not employable, poorly productive citizens. Contemporary approach, seen as part of society, children with disabilities are seen with seen special children with different abilities. PWDs become productively employable citizens with the help of adaptation assistive devices. Actually, the attitude of society has changed. very good it's not they are not burden they are also having capabilities they are having eligibility to do job self employment or open employment or sheltered job 
all facilities have started that is the contemporary because earlier it was not their burden just to make use of the time by doing certain work in the exactly. setup it has changed even with that uh, okay let us move to the slide approaches of vocational assessment traditional approach psychological measurement approach number 2 psychological variables like intelligence vocational aptitude uh, occupational interest had been used number 2 assessment of psychomotor skills number 3 assessment of work samples contemporary approach number 1 assessment of adaptive behavior it refers to a wide range of adaptive behavior in diverse social context number 2 survival skill refer to those vocational and social behaviors which facilitate to obtain and maintain employment and process approached number 3 process approach emphasize direct assessment of actual competencies actually if you take vocational assessment of the child earlier it is just psychological iq then occupational interest test just to do it that's all and after the child has made certain item by look, after completion of the item by looking at them whether the child is eligible for doing certain work or not say for example the child is making a garland using bead it is not assessed during the child is performing it earlier traditional approach after the completion by looking at the product it was decided okay the child is eligible to go for the hand work okay but contemporary approach is not based on iq and uh, vocational interest it is focusing on adaptive behavior according to the social context if the child with mr okay say for example is a child with mr in a very remote rural area okay it is a social context what is the job available it is only her the farm land whatever the work then the process rehabilitation is based on the environment that program it is not what is the use of the iq there or a vocational interest the child vocational interest if it doesn't shoots with this environment exactly it's of no use it's, it's of no, no use. use even if you take earlier the approach is based on the product now it is on the job the child is doing by looking at the program is moving like that because vocational in the sense uh, it's a very good thing nowadays i can say lot of child with mildly retarded also they are doing independent job self employment they are doing but not in the government sector yeah. like if we talk about the government sector and the private sector not much Ma actually much when much the pwd act came reservation quota for 3 percentage is given but when you cover up a field with mental retardation this and the percentage may not be included there but it definitely they are given post like c cadre in the railway stations everywhere also it is applicable they are doing nmh even given lot of list of 132 jobs independently they can do self employment but, but the people I, are not i i i want to know how much has been executed you tell me because See, okay. i have been the field for more than 45 years i have not seen a mentally retarded child employed anywhere i can tell okay no. that may be on uh, on the Uh, compensatory, I mean, uh, compensation or something. Somebody knows someone, so you keep up your pure ah, number. It is in a normal course of taking a mentally retarded in any government job. I can still bet anyone who I, has done. I am it. telling you, it's possible. I can show also. Now, so ma'am, listen one thing. Earlier, even if you take even now, Shikar, it has started now only. just imagine now the awareness increasing even if you take tv channel nowadays only even in tv newspaper or weekly magazines the awareness about the disability has started earlier it was not like that first we have to think about it because when the child i mean uh, what are the issue we can we will not be aware of in the rural area remote rural area i have seen from my childhood they label the child as is little bit uh, simple no, in rural area they call them as but, simple then simple but they are all normal course they are normal course but the identification is not there but they are doing bus the weaving is a job only rotating in this thing my little child child can do perform independently in rural but area weaving is not there but rural area this is not a um, uh, difficulty because they easily get into the mainstream because exactly. their work doesn't demand so much of intellectual input exactly that is what i am telling you the proper approach is in the social uh, context Gracing a crow is not. He need not uh, read much for They're that. They're doing that in childhood. Yeah, he should know how to grace a, I mean, a cow or how to grace a goat in the environment where he is living. He is successful there, so he is a successful man. He has gone into the mainstream. No, giving Arne any difficulty not. to anybody. No, ma'am. Yes, yes, I agree. 
on his own whatever he did earlier the community is not having that much awareness he is a child with intelligence disorder he is doing that much now the awareness is coming in the public they can cope up that because earlier also whatever it occurred it's not an issue main thing in our country what are the pwd act even is say any cbi program not only rural even in a city like in okay urban. if you take even in delhi say for example a child who is doing very good photo state uh, attending phone calls he is using calculator okay he can open a pco that freedom even employment for disability they are giving concessions opening this one even in pwd act who are a person with a disability they open any centers a recreational this and they are giving facilities also but when we are talking yes. of mainstream then why not in government sector and why not in private sector private why self employment is so much like no forced? it is that even in government and private both are there availability is there no, availability is there execution implementation is not there that's what i am saying ma'am one three plus one percent for each disability you had already given <laughs> how much of them has been Ma'am, implemented it is not that. a complaint what i am saying complaining even our request, execution is not there That's no execution is moving on it is a starting point we have to first understand starting point of 95 to 200 and 2009 ma'am if you ask okay it's almost 14 years professionally in a 1984 when nms started till now i can tell within even 25 years we, they have done a remarkable works okay in educational even in vocational they are giving all the program all the syllabus are there even vocational training courses are existing at present at present only five centers in india they are doing dvt program diploma yeah. in vocational training but early intervention other courses are going on but we have to think one thing government already allocated jobs for even a child with mr the percentage is included or not included because already we people in the special education we are asking we want a ministry of education in india our expectation is we don't want rehabilitation this that and all we are literally telling why can't india open a special education ministry separately including mr with genius double promotion everything okay that is a different aspect but with all the whatever the current status india is excelling in such a way that they can show model because sarva shiksha abhiyan if you take even let me show on the slide in the vocational sarva shiksha vocational training in ssa ssa state mission societies plan for vocational training of these children at upper primary level vocational training could be provided depending the nature and need of the child it is partly integrated in the general classroom activities and partly given in the resources room with the help of courses already developed by central institute of vocational education civ see even if you take service shiksha ban even at the primary level vocational input we have started our country has started it's not that uh, this thing planning is still moving across but if you think about it we want to equal this this means we have to think about because a child with mentally retarded maximum they can cope up shelter job then what shelter job among the parts institutions if you take even ngos are they climbing we want this much of reservation it has not started among the this thing but all people are doing their their work now the association among us we want because shelter job means the child can do only part of the work not exactly. the full work the full but what are okay now now only paper bag is coming into the market polythene is removing then we can climb all the paper bag give in our hand it's possible we have to climb but government of india is always ready even i am telling before pwd act itself the national policy of education they themselves started including the child with mr in the normal school ma'am एक तरह पे हम कह रहे कि हमें रिहेबिलिटेट करना है दूसरी जगह हम एक ही चीज बीट फोटोकॉपी और बीट पीसी और बीट कैंडल मेकिंग और पेपर बैग मेकिंग यही चीज में रिस्ट्रिक्ट होके रह गया जो भी ओकेशन है अगर हम बात करें तो नो न्यू वेंचर कमिंग अप इन आई एम टेलिंग वॉट आई एम टेलिंग डीवीटी प्रोग्राम एट प्रेजेंट ओनली फाइव सेंटर्स आर डूइंग इन आर कंट्री एज द सेंटर्स इंक्रीज द ट्रेनिंग सेंटर्स ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल द स्पेशल school people the training centers get an awareness apart from candle making this making there are lot of options are there they will get that awareness because okay. at, it has started and uh, even apart from vocational if you ask me about the co curricular activity let me come to a small point even in 1968 itself special olympics has started because they also do certain sports activity that awareness came into the contemporary right. approach is that they can excel not only special olympics what we call as vsa very special arts right. the craft and uh, any work they are giving even if you ask epilimbics it conveys the what are the color item 
I think uh, the year around uh, 19, somewhere 81 or something. Okay, because if you think about the child with MR speciality, it covers even all disability, but MR children in the sense they can do very special arts. They are getting gold medal, bronze, this one, even in epilimbics. So what are the art and craft that conveys? See, very special arts and epilimbics differs. Very special arts conveys only art and craft activity, dance, music, just yeah. an recreational part. Okay, they have that. But if you take epilimbics, it conveys to the society that see the child with what are the disability, the child with MR, say for directly, is painting very well. That means he given opportunity, job of a painter. Epilimbics conveys to the people in the society the vocational aspect they can excel like the so called normal. That's what I am saying. How many people have been listened to this epilepsy no, and I'm It is coming out. It is coming out. Coming out when? It has started. It has started. It's a, it's not it all of us. It's a miracle. Positive no. aspect like we see in a positive. Mm -hmm. I think. Only hope that these things do take place at least after another ten years. Ma'am, if you ask me, National Trust has opened so many schemes. Gyan Prabha, this one, Aurinium. Aurinium is a very good program. It conveys a person, child with a or other disability, register at age 18. Okay then they can do any job according to the child's level okay apart from it they will be getting monthly stipend that conveys it even age 18 the child going to the special school they can join under the ministry of social justice and Empowerment national trust act is there they have bought the new scheme in such a way that they will get monthly stipend they can do independent job they can go for a job that means it has come now only even okay if now i am announcing so many people are getting the awareness that means they will have a notion okay now browse to the national trust website let us check what is when the arunya my child is age 22 he is going to a special school in the vocational class why can't i try for arunya program because the awareness is main issue ma'am because it's how many normal newspapers are can help us exactly. we are asking but any special program comes definitely they are giving in the newspaper monthly weekly magazine Comparing to earlier, for the past even decades, I think information is coming more. That is why the movie like, uh, what is, uh, Tare Jamipar. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you take Tare Jamipar, I can move back before uh, 10 or 15 years, the name of the movie is Anjali. Anjali it is Tamil, a child with MR. MR. With MR. But that time, people awareness is very less comparing to Tare Jamipar. Even look about the people who is watching a child with a disability in the movie, the response of the society by looking at the movie Anjali and Tare and Jamifar, there is a vast difference. Right. The societal... It's changing a lot. Society's yeah. acceptance is in yeah. increasing a lot. Definitely, definitely. It's provable our country will be a good model and our programs in our country, I can tell even RSA, certain time even I used to feel, I had done a course not recognized by RSA earlier. <laughs> okay. I thought what is again I have to, but now I feel no, it is good. Standardization is maintained everywhere in our country. Nobody can tell why it is the standardization of our program. Yeah. So we have to look more in a positive aspect. So we'll carry on with our discussion after a short break. See yeah. after a while. हम होंगे कामयाब हम होंगे कामयाब हम होंगे कामयाब एक दिन हो मन में है विश्वास पूरा है विश्वास हम होंगे कामयाब एक दिन we shall overcome we shall overcome we shall overcome Someday, oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. We shall overcome someday. We shall overcome someday.
द स्टेट ऑफ नॉलेज एक्सिस्ट द विल द कैपेसिटी एंड मैथड आर यूजली द प्रॉब्लम मानसिक मंदता एक ऐसी विकलांगता है जो 18 वर्ष की आयु से पूर्व कभी भी हो सकती है जिसमें व्यवहार अनुकूलता में कमी एवं बुद्धि क्षमता 70 प्रतिशत से कम होती है अलोन वी कैन डू सो लिटल टूगेदर वी कैन डू सो मच भारतीय पुनर्वास परिषद द्वारा देश भर में पंजीकृत केंद्र इस बात को प्रमाणित करते हैं एन प्रादेशिक केंद्र नई दिल्ली एक ऐसा ही केंद्र है जहां छात्रों को प्रशिक्षण दिया जाता है जिसके उपरांत वे मंद बुद्धि बच्चों की सेवा में नियुक्त तो होते हैं क्लासरूम टीचिंग ग्रुप टीचिंग एवं भारतीय पुनर्वास परिषद के नव शिखर चैनल पर प्रसारित टेली कॉन्फ्रेंसिस द्वारा संबंधित विषयों पर विस्तार पूर्वक ज्ञान दिया जाता है मेडिकल ऑक्यूपेशनल थेरेपी फिजियोथेरेपी स्पीच थेरेपी साइकोलॉजी और स्पेशल एजुकेशन जैसे क्षेत्रों में छात्रों को प्रशिक्षित किया जाता है प्रयोगात्मक अनुभव एवं अभ्यास के लिए टीचर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम के उपरांत छात्रों को मंद बुद्धि बच्चों के साथ कक्षाओं में नियुक्त किया जाता है और इंडिविजुअलाइज्ड एजुकेशन प्लान का भी आधार बनाया जाता है जिससे वे संपूर्ण शिक्षा एवं चिकित्सा शैली को समझ सकें इस पूरे प्रशिक्षण कार्यक्रम के दौरान विद्यार्थी जर्नल्स न्यूज लेटर्स पेरियोडिकल्स चार्ट्स, मॉडल्स कंप्यूटर ट्रेनिंग एवं टेक्स्ट बुक्स का उपयोग कर सकते हैं कहते हैं कीप योर फेस टू द सनशाइन एंड यू कैन नॉट सी द शेडो इसी बात को ध्यान में रखते हुए विद्यार्थियों को सरकारी एवं गैर सरकारी संस्थाओं में नियुक्त किया जाता है जहां वे मंद बुद्धि बच्चों के लिए निरीक्षण प्रशिक्षण एवं अनुसंधान का दायित्व संभालते हैं और इसके पश्चात ये विद्यार्थी इस प्रशिक्षण का उपयोग मंद बुद्धि बच्चों के सामाजिक एवं शैक्षणिक उत्थान एवं विकास में करते हैं और एक लक्ष्य की ओर आगे बढ़ते हैं और फिर लक्ष्य कितना ही दूर हो फासला नजरों का धोखा भी तो हो सकता है वो मिले या ना मिले हाथ बढ़ाकर देखो वेलकम बैक ब्रेक पे जाने से पहले हार्ड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कन्वर्सेशन ऑफ द करंट एजुकेशनल ट्रेंड्स चेंजिंग एजुकेशनल ट्रेंड्स चेंजेस इन द एटीट्यूड ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड द वोकेशनल एस्पेक्ट्स मैम जैसे हमने वोकेशनल एस्पेक्ट्स की बात करी हिमागरी मैम आपसे पूछना चाहूंगी कि एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजेस जो होते हैं क्या ऐसा भी प्रोविजन है कि जो मेंटली चैलेंज है वहां जाके अपने आपको रजिस्टर करा सकते हैं मैम इट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंज फॉर डिसेबिलिटी सेपरेटली देयर Okay. Who are all done the job? What are the training they have gained? They have to go and register there. After registration, by two or three years, if they won't get a job, they are getting stipend. Okay. Government is giving that much benefit. They know the person is not getting the job, but they are waiting for three years. Even if they are not getting, 
definitely they are getting stipend apart from it in the ngos government has given a very good role who are all the ngos who are all appointing a person with a disability let it be a child with mr it's a store house fruits and vegetables just a packaging they are appointing a five child with mr okay they are giving a best awards for those people who are the uh, appointing a person with mr or even any disability because our country's focus is how we will equip them and uh, make them useful pred- actually they have the ability the residual exactly. capacity whatever it is they are capable okay it and is there and what about the like wages jaise apne sheltered workshops ki baat kari kuch government ne bhi aise wages kya decide kar rakhe hain for for the intellectual disabled uh, persons ma'am if you take no. uh, governmental stipend or even if you ask me about in the ngos let me first tell about the ngos if the child with mr if it is mild moderate severe profound they will do the job even in the center itself say for example let us take candle making say for example a child with a mild retarded can do the full thing what are mixing then porcelain everything okay and the child with moderate retarded may certain aspect he can again if you go to the child with a severely retarded child he may just do the packing or just cleaning the table according to that maximum to my knowledge maximum s- schools are giving stipend Okay. it's not that uh, it's not given according because a child with mr is not a single group again it is having four cadre four classifications again it's not a it's just me- mentally retarded so if it is a child with mr how much work he is doing how much he is coping up okay. again there is one more problem because if you take the marketing item is our problem at present it is existing but definitely it is change it's not i am telling you regarding aurinium program of national trust it is under social justice and empowerment they are given a program it's newly started it's i think uh, more than 8 month i think so okay around a one year whatever it is see a child person with uh, that already in 18th century uh, which group jindal group has started it it's not new in 18th century i think 1870 something it's already started program now they have taken it in such a way that a person with a mr or what are disability come and join after age 18 become a membership and the, according to the reality marketing they are doing independently so marketing is the main problem in the hand of the ngo that is why as you ask limitation of making candles this means because of marketing is a problem exactly. actually you should uh, I mean instead of having a marketing and production of your own it's always good to have a subcontract uh, jobs which yeah, you is don't a good which, example that one which you don't have to um, uh, I mean put your heads together where will I sell these goods exactly okay you take a subcontract from a company or a factory or whatever it is finish your work and give back to them and you are paid for what you have done and it should be always uh, the stipend or whatever you pay you give it it should be connected with your production that is an incentive for the individual yes ma'am you have everybody you can't g- give everybody the same thing sabko ek se mil raha hai that where is the incentive where is the motivation for the child to work exactly so you have to always pluck the incentive with your production this is this is what done in western countries very successfully i have said wherever i have gone they they are not interested in the production because again there also the uh, marketing uh, problem comes right yeah so problem. they want to take sub contracts as possible and finish your uh, i mean uh, uh, i mean sub contract things make a production and give it back to them and this sub contract uh, even yes. lot of special schools are doing like uh, any is, government uh, uh, expert company whatever it is it just is stitching a salwar kameez just a simple one mm. yeah uh, Uh, i mean uh, hand uh, I mean bag like that just they are getting the order from the expert company or whatever the companies the school is doing and it's like a subcontract that, that's what i think you have they to are taking that effort you also. have to have that venture uh, done here instead of going for a production exactly. because uh, i mean our market uh, area is not very uh, i mean uh, receptive to the things made by the retarded children because the finish is not good exactly. as as everyone uh, wants a very good finish of a product no ma'am actually But if you ask me no ma'am i can tell uh, i think dr colnius he did a miraculous job i can tell who started even dvd program also even for a child with a severely retarded he is a very good engineer he designed the machinery instrument in such a way that they are doing the break that is isi logo 
they got the ISA standard the for same it. Thing. You have to Even have a child sex. with a severe retarded, missionary tools he decided in such a way that ISA standard break system they are preparing and we are marketing it. That's what Cornelius is the only person who has done these things because I have known Cornelius for a long time. He is an engineer who started all these things when he was in Bangalore actually. Now he has shifted his base to Chennai. Yes. So he has invented himself a certain suitable machines for these children to have good um, and, uh, um, production. But how many other centers have this kind of uh, facility? I want to know. It is coming and in other centers. It, it, it is coming. That's what I mean. It is coming. But it will take some time. For like them if we specifically talk about mm. blind relief association, yeah, they, they are. held melas. Melas and like they sell their own goods. goods. All here in melas are, they are normal. They are normal. They are normal. So doing their them. finish may not be that bad. But if you take an MR, the finish is not that good. So you have to sacrifice something or other on that score. Right. You see? Then go for subcontract. Ma'am, don't actually, go for uh, ma production. We can't convey that finish is not that much good. I can even tell a child with a MR, MR child that yeah, I we don't can want compete with even a child with a vision. No, no, I don't equal. want any I mean, uh, comparison between them. By and large, the production of MR is substandard than a normal person's production. If you take it as a whole, as a, but the, part I am of it. The, I am, as a whole, I am talking, not for an individual. Individual may excel certain uh, production area. But by and large, the productions are always considered substandard because whenever you take it to the uh, market, they say, no, no, it's good, then thought of uh, finish acha kariye. Uh, that's the word Some you are part, using. Like uh, you know, actually, that's that what I am telling, no. The traditional approach is just to doing that work. The contemporary approach is telling that first look at the social context then don't give that job as a shootably to that person. The yeah, assessment we, itself conveys, assessment conveys the child job that for the team. It doesn't should give that in the area. But in that area job we can't give because our problem is marketing. That's what I'm saying. Right. Why going for that when you have so much of tension in marketing your goods? Uh, so go for subcontracts right. and pay the child the stipend wherever he has produced more. He get more. Wherever he has done less, he will get less. So that kind of an arrangements have to be, and that is seen in a very, very less uh, formation here. That's it's coming out. It's so coming out. nicely, it very well. Out, yeah. But it, it will take, take some time. time. Otherwise, Another ma'am, five or ten actually years all the NGOs uh, during any festival, now Diwali is coming, whenever, definitely they are calling for all the special schools. They are giving invitation, come and keep your mela. It's not a single school. There are so many, even 10 to 15 schools will be there, special schools. What are the goods they prepare? They are keeping. That much the society, the NGOs, all are being invited. Right. That conveys the awareness is yeah, Awareness is up, growing. Yeah. Coming awareness up, coming is growing up. for last dec one decade, I would say. Before that, even the production area was less. Right. So no. not much of, uh, I mean, uh, articles they were producing. So the less demand. So now the NGO's awareness or on the whole the awareness of the public I would say that we have to help these children. That kind of a... More of a contemporary uh, yeah. if we talk about So it. now they want to go and buy something whether they like it or not. They have to buy something from there so that it will help the children. That the kind joy of, of giving. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. The joy of giving. Uh -huh. So can we on the next slide? Can we have discussion on the constitutional provisions? Yes, yeah. let us move to the screen. Let us move to the screen. Constitu constitutional provisions, Indian Lunacy Act, ILA 1912, equalized MO with persons with mental illness. Mental Health Act, MHA 1987, it separated MO from Indian Lunacy Act, but primarily deals with person with mental illness and not applicable for person with MO. Rehabilitation Council of Act RCI 1992, it focused to regulate and introduce uniformity and professional quality service. Person with Disability Act PWD 1995, a significant step in the direction of full participation of person with disability in the nation building. National Trust for Welfare of Person with Autism, Cerebral Policy, Mental Retardation and Multiple Disability Act 1999. So the Indian Lunacy Act of 1912 actually did have a separate regulation for the MR children. They were all MR adults or persons. They always <coughs> put them together with a mental illness. 
there was no se separate rules and regulations for them and things like that. So at that time the awareness was not there even among the professionals maybe regarding the uh, status of mental retardation. Ma'am, because no, in 1912 Indian Lunacy Act in the sense we have to think in 1961 only, 61, the definition of the word mental retardation came out. Earlier it was EDS, this, that That's and other. Even that time because it is not separated from mental illness. I know, it was not separated. That is the reason, but in that India, Indian Lunacy Act existed. But it no, Lunacy existed. Act existed, but that cared Makes only for the mental mentally ill people primarily and mental retardation was just taken into that uh, I mean uh, the uh, arbitrary that's all they didn't have any sta I mean, standard of them or status in the mentally ill act it didn't cover the MR at all the same way the mentally health act of 1987 though they recognized the I mean uh, mental retardation but they didn't have any provision for acting on them. You see that kind of a look, uh, um, uh, lacuna was there. But the actual act which pertains to mental retardation came into existence only in 1992 by the Rehabilitation Council of India and it of course focused its uh, attention more on the uniformity and the quality of service in training the trainees their, their I mean, um, attention was diverted more on the quality of education and the training given to these people and they insisted that those who have got the I mean, degree or diploma from such a recognized institution must register themselves with the RCI. It was another... Ma'am, uh, actually not only that, in case if the parent have any complaint about the school, definitely they are taking action. It's not that they focused only on the courses. <laughs> even if that, there is a complaint is a about the program, even all the years <coughs> is even doing that much also, ma'am. No, that, that is a secondary uh, thing no, for them. No, that also but the first the aspect. And then <laughs> inspecting the trainees, uh, I mean Never institutions, <laughs> to see that the maintenance of the quality of... Uh, I mean, uh, services. services are maintained because every every institution or every place you start with all enthusiasm, but after a few years the enthusiasm dies and the standard goes down. That is the story. Every day. Not like that, ma'am. I'm not. No, I'm yes. not opposing RCI. I'm generally no, saying no, this I is a trend RCI because we have started many programs in NDMC when I was Because she is the first person working in 1964-65 with the Federation of uh, um, I was the main person. I was the person to start the Federation for the this one welfare of the mentally retarded. 1965. Okay. 1965. We started that. Since then, I am with the Federation. The resource team, how they spread the And now I am the president of the Federation. <laughs> okay. That's a different thing. But my experiences, I am just saying this, so this is likely to happen in any institution, the, I mean, leniency, you see. So, but this is very essential for RCI. But leniency, all the people are getting a fraud, avoid RCI itself. Nobody can do that much leniency in the special education field. They will afraid, I got RCI, okay, uh, let us do sincerely. That, uh, that's why <laughs> that RCI, RCI, RCI is strict with its inspections to maintain the standard of the education and services given to the trainees. trainees. So unless and until you are strict on those lines, your uh, I mean, quality will go down. So that is one thing which is good about the RCI, which they have done. And then we had the Person with Disability Act, PWD, as popularly known, in 1995. This had uh, I mean, the full participation of per persons with disability in the national building and their focus was on prevention early detection as disabilities that means first is to prevent can we have a look at this slide yes let us you move to the screen yeah pwd act provisions prevention and early detection of disabilities education employment non-discrimination research and manpower development affirmative action social security Grievance later, sir. Uh, the PWD Act actually, I mean, focus itself on the important aspect of mental retardation that is prevention. 
So it is better to prevent than to have the disorder. You see, uh, prevention yeah, is always no, better. The prevention yeah. aspect, let me add one more point. Actually, if the word comes, prevention, early intervention means all the public health workers are given yeah, training. That, that's that's that. yes. The primary health uh, center workers has been sent, I mean, they were given training to identify the risk children at the clinical setup itself. And even the doctors were exposed to the, this kind of uh, uh, I mean, orientation, how to pick up the child I mean, who is going to have a, some kind of a disability later on. They are known Address. as risk children. Yeah. So they were trained, the primary health uh, workers were trained to identify such cases earlier so that you can plan out the uh, um, things for them. The same way early detection, the, I mean they were exposed to how to identify a uh, defective. Some children are born with certain features who you can identify by birth, but some are not identifiable at birth. So the, you have to be careful to watch their developmental I mean, uh, programs and then see where the, exactly the child is lacking. So for that also, I mean, they were uh, uh, I mean, preventive uh, primary health center workers were trained for that to go into the houses and identify such children. Even in the Anganwadi, so in Anganwadi so workers have been sensitized, the training awareness sensitized to, to go home and then identify such to children. The screening checklist. Yeah, yeah. It's not they only have screening, ma'am. If it is Anganwadi, the child up to certain days hmm. they are going during the mother is going out for a job. Okay. That time the child will be in the Anganwadi. Okay. That time the child, the other children are playing. The child who is, say for example, having a child with mental retardation, he can't uh, do that so much communication. By and observation. By, that much by observation, the right. Anganwadi workers The training is given to, to them also. Definitely. So it has given. These are the children who are not behaving normal or whatever it is. All the ICDS trainings have given them. Uh, ICDS programs along with the Anganwadi is very good in, it is in the community. It is a community boon, I should say, so that in the um, people around may miss the I mean, uh, defect, but these people observing them every day so are able to pick up these children. Exactly. And then they talk about the education, where I mean uh, special educations of course, where you have to sort of concentrate on the education of this child, because earlier they thought these children are not capable of anything. That was the view earlier, but now the people think they are capable of certain things. So why not tap that potentiality of the child and then encourage the child. So the special education came into existence and then... Uh, Ma'am, let me add in this one. In the yes, education, no, not only from early intervention, uh, other courses, pre-primary, primary, secondary, vocational, even at present our country has planned in <coughs> such a way that in any district hospitals, let us open the centers in the rehabilitation wing that all the child who is having delayed milestone will be given stimulation program. That scheme has at present the starting point and it's uh, planning to implement everywhere. So it is in the rural remote country means nobody can't open a special school over there or even in going to SSA program. But other aspect like OT, PT, speech therapy, it's in need. In need, the but program uh, is coming in the hospitals, uh, in district hospitals. In district and hospitals. It's the wing is opening. It's opening, uh, it's not at the opening. planning has already started. Yeah. Certain area, all, I mean, I they have, have put even all district uh, hospitals should have uh, 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 provision for such uh, rehabilitation of the uh, things, you see. So that, I mean, a district center can easily approach the rural areas than an urban uh, population. Exactly. So every district, if it has one, and every rural area will be covered. Ma'am, so because. If they uh, are covered, Yes, ma'am. Actually, PWD Act has given for the central one program in each state level, according to the state, then district, all the thing, according to the, they can do anything at free. Because that decision has given in them, you innovatively do anything. It's warm welcome always. Certain that's not. What, that's what I am, District. Uh, centrally managed. They have to state give the powers to execute what they want to have. If they are looking for centrals, um, in affirmation or state level affirmation, they cannot do anything. You see? So free hand must be given to every hospital, to the district hospital yeah, also. Yeah, no. And such okay. is the way that the education has come into existence and special schools where 
I mean, um, started. Now it is service sector there, maximum. Huh? Now it is service sector there. Expectation of but our country we, is we, we we want normal school. All, all to educate, all to go to school, all uh, school. I mean, Zero education for policy. education Zero for policy, for everyone. Right. But that is not yet completely executed. Even with the normal children, many of them don't even go to school. But I think government has to be very strict on this. If they want that uh, all all to be educated uh, things to come into existence, they must make it a very very st strict that all children must go to. If whether they are normal or subnormal, they have to go to schools. That is the kind of uh, I mean uh, strictness the government should. Uh, the employment, as we have already discussed, there are only three percent of. Uh, employment for uh, the three right, three percent is reservation quota man reservation that's what i'm yeah. saying reservation undeserved is more than it's not a uh, undeserved is more but <laughs> how much is executed this is what i'm saying um, it's it's going don't, across don't theoretically we can say oh we are doing this we are doing that it but how much has been how getting, much has been practically done even mm. within two or three years it will improve very well also that's what i mean wait, wait for another 10 years for that we are it? running short of time so would you like yeah, to yeah. make some of the things yeah, then we will talk uh, talk about the PWD Act. We have already talked, which they have given importance to the uh, prevention, education, and employment, and social security and grievances uh, uh, reserved by the parents. And then we will go into national, uh, I mean national trust, which uh, had. Can we have a look at this slide? Yes, ma'am. National Trust Act programs, conducive environment, counselling and training. Residential hostel, individual and group homes, respite care, family care, day care services, self help group, local level committees to grant approval for guardianship. So, National Trust Act was enacted with a question by the parents who will look after my child after us? That was the main question asked by every parent. For that, the government has to program uh, uh, act for them, National Trust Act. So that has a conducive environment and counselling and training is available there. And residential hostel, which is not yet available, but maybe it will be available. Ma'am, respect care, all the schools are Res doing. Because respect, no, residential. But no, residential also, <coughs> the planning is coming out to two days. That's what I'm saying, planning is coming, uh, but not yet executed. And the respect care, some of the schools are uh, doing, day case and family case and self-help groups also doing and they approve of the guardianship. This is more important of the National Trust Act because the parents who are scared can always go for this guardianship if they apply for it and then the central um, uh, government uh, will see to it that these things are enacted by the government body and the um, uh, guardian and the other members of the trust they can put them into use. So for the today's session, we discussed about the changing trends in habilitating the rehabilitation of persons with mental retardation. And we discussed about the habilitation, the rehabilitation, the difference between them, and the typology, like the shift uh, into the habilitation and the rehabilitation, the traditional approach and the contemporary approach. Then we discussed about the definitions on the intellectual disability, uh, the uh, the changing trends, the definition, how the definitions have been changing, and we talked about the trends in the educational aspects, more in the vocational ones, and then the societal uh, attitude, the change in the uh, attitudes of the society, and then we discussed at a greater detail into the constitutional provisions, what are the different acts, what are the schemes which are available to, for the persons with mental retardation. So for today's session, uh, this was the discussion. But before that, I would like to thank both of you for coming over and discussing with us. And yes. thank you, the viewers, for maintaining with us. Thank you so much. Actually, okay, national policy education.